Hey, what's happening guys? It is Thursday, almost the end of another week. Today's episode, we're talking about another human Barbie and also a bunch of other stuff. Now, this human Barbie's name is Angelica Kenova. She's from Moscow. Currently, she's 26 years old. She has a 20 inch waist and a 32 E bra size. Now this episode's question of the day is, at what age should parents stop dictating what your children do? Leave your answers in the boom box. Now the reason why I ask this is because uh, she's 26 years old now, and a lot of her look has to do with her parents forcing her to look like that. They dress her up like a Barbie, they dictate her exercise routine, as well as she's not allowed to pose for certain sexy photo shoots unless her mom approves of it. Now despite all of this, she claims that her look is natural but come on like you can hula hoop with a Cheerio your eyes are wider than Nicki Minaj's hips and you have more plastic on you than Kraft sliced cheese who are you trying to fool now I do have to admit that out of all the human Barbie dolls that I've reported on she's not the fakest looking one but it's just very surprising that her parents forced her to look like this now let's move on from fake women to women that want to be natural a university student by the name of Yasmin Gasimova she doesn't shave her body hair like none at all from her face to her chest to her legs currently she's 19 years old and she says that the only grooming that she does actually is her natural mustache that comes up but she only shaves it when she feels like it now about eight years ago she stopped caring for her body so she says and on the rare occasion she does shave but that's only if she wants to have a one-night stand but regularly she just lets the hairiness happen she said she feels more liberated now is this something that you guys find unattractive I mean it's natural after all and she does does encourage women to embrace their hairiness just like many men do. Personally, it's not really my cup of hot chocolate, but I mean, if you want to rock that bush, I can't argue against that. Now here's a cool piece of tech news that I came across on the internet. Take a look at this egg-shaped structure. It's pretty much an eco-home that operates like a luxury hotel room. It comes with a shower and a toilet, a kitchen area. And the great thing about this, like it's super eco-friendly. It's powered by the sun and wind. This was designed by a Slovakian firm by the name of Nice Architects. They'll be available for pre-order by the end of 2015. Now the whole thing has a membrane that filters 99.9% .9 of water. So when the rain comes down, there you go. You have good filtered water. Eliminates bacteria like this thing is awesome like I want to get one of these it just attaches to your car and boom You're good to go and finally now we have a launch date of the new movie Suicide Squad It's set to be released on August 5th of 2016 now while they were filming footage of Ben Affleck's version of Batman was seen on top of a car All took place in downtown Toronto the clip is definitely going viral as well as fans that were around the shoot Uploaded photos to Instagram or as well as earlier this week we saw what the Batman Batmobile was gonna look like but on a side note like is it just me or are there so much superhero movies being created in such a short span of time but anyways guys that was my five cents on everything in the last video I asked you how many kids do you want to have and this is how much you guys want to have some of y'all plan to get pretty busy remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed it it really does help as well as subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest and craziest news going on in our world today until next time guys I'm the Rice Deadman Kenton the Janelle Natural Bond Jamaican black man boom out.